Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be speaking about how to find a data type of a variable using the type function. So let's start off by declaring an integer and give it a value of three. Then let's declare a float and give it a value of 3.3. .3. We'll then declare a string. Um, yes, a string is equal to test and then we'll declare a list and I'm just going to give this list the values of 1, 2 and 3. Let's declare a tuple and I'll give the values also 1, 2, 3 just for a better visual. I'm putting a space there and then we'll declare a set and uh, we'll give it a values of also one, two, and three. So the differences between the list and the tuple and the set is the, the brackets. So this one is a square bracket. Those are sort of round brackets or parentheses and those are the curly brackets. So, well, that wasn't the purpose of the video, but I thought I'd mention it. But now let's get to the purpose of it, which is to display the data type of each variable using the type function. So we'll call print first and then we'll call the type function and then whatever val variable you'd like to find out its type put it in between the function or pass it in as an argument to the function type. The function is called type. Uh, we'll do the same for the float and Actually, I'm going to copy that multiple times. Let's do the string. Let's do the list. Tuple. And I've really given these really generic names because they don't really have a purpose other than displaying the type for the purpose of this video. But if I run the program, we get an interesting result. It basically tells us what class they belong to because these are all objects, right? And they belong to a class. And that class is actually the data type. So the first one was an integer. The second one is a float. This The third one comes from class string, str. The fourth one comes from the class list. And the fourth, fifth one is tuple, and the last one is a set. So this is how you use the type function. I hope that helps you, and I'll see you in future ones.